What's up Vape Fam? Today we're taking a look at the Buddha V3 from Vapor's Cloud. Now this is actually the production prototype. Uh, it is the final version so uh, if you order one it will be just like this except that it will have etching on it. This one is etchless because they didn't want people releasing videos, pictures, things like that ahead of time and showing them off. Um, they gave me permission to release this on July 1st so that's why it's coming out now. These go on sale July 4th. Uh, there are some changes from the t V2, and um, I'm going to compare them. I've got a V2 sitting on the shelf, so I'll bring them up. I'll bring that out, and I will compare them side by side for you guys. Uh, so let's start this off the way we normally do, with the up close and breakdown to see what makes a vape. All right, guys, here we are up close with the Buddha V3. Uh, before we get to that, uh, I'm doing things a little bit differently because this is the packaging, the pre production prototype came in. Uh, it is the finalized uh, prototype, so this is how they're going to be. Uh, but the packaging is going to be different. So I'm not going to focus too much on the packaging. It did come with O-rings and uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there was a couple coils in there that I did not use. I just threw some fuse collapsons in it like the day I got it. Uh, so O-ring, stuff like that. Um, but it'll probably have a much more traditional Buddha packaging. Uh, like a lift top box, something like that. So we're not going to focus on that too much like I normally do. Um, instead, we're going to get right down to it. This is the V3. As you can see, it is hybrid compatible. It does have a protruding 510 pin. Uh, it has the same sort of airflow barrel that it did on the V2. And I have the V2 sitting over here. We'll compare compare notes on them in a second. Uh, the Starting at the... Wow, that, that flew out of my hand. Starting at the top... Uh, the chuff tip is going to be different because it now has adjustable airflow through the top. Uh, and you can see that this whole airflow ring has been redesigned so that uh, even when it's open, the airflow has to come in and then down through the hole so it comes closer to the coil, then over and up the chimney. So it, even with the airflow open, it's got a little bit better flavor than it does in the V2 with just the wide open airflow that goes straight in and up the chimney. Um, see, it's kind of dog bone shape so that one direction they're closed off, one direction they're open. Uh, it is a uh, double o-ring so it does fit in there pretty nicely. Removing the top cap is also double o-ringed and it has this step design so that you can close off air, ho air flow holes in numerous different fashions. You can just turn it one way and have a straight vertical wall or you can turn it the other way and actually close off close them off and uh, like a stepped orientation, so like the you know the two on the furthest left, uh, half of them. It, it's kind of complicated to explain, but it's a stepped orientation. So moving on from there, we also then we come to the barrel, which again is pretty much the standard Buddha barrel, except that it does not have any etching. Uh, I highly expect them to put the Buddha logo on there. This is the V2. Uh, there's the Buddha logo. It says Buddha version 2 on it. I expect this will say the V3. Uh, not too much going on there. And then you have the deck. Now the deck has been changed to a two post design with the velocity style holes. So there are four post holes. Uh, I believe they're three millimeter holes. Um, I don't have a I don't have the thing over here. Check it. Give me one second. Okay, it is a three millimeter hole. This is a two and a half, and there's still light shining through. Uh, it still wiggles and moves around. It is exactly three millimeters though, so I cannot actually squeeze the three millimeter screwdriver all the way through, but it does start to go in. A little something right here in the thread from my build. Uh, I haven't had any issues with these screws backing out on me yet, and I have had five or six different builds in here. Um, the machining on this is actually really, really good. Uh, I'm hoping that the full production unit is exactly the same, um, and I expect it will be peak insulator at the bottom. Um, 510 pin is in there really tight, but it does actually come out. There it goes. And it is a copper 510 pin. Peak insulator on this side as well. Uh, again, there's no serialization on these. 
and I expect that there will be serialization added to the bottom just like on the V2 uh, as well as the Vapors Cloud logo. So the comparison here I did not pull the build out of here. Maybe I should have, but oh well. So as you can see, the deck is obviously redesigned from a four-post to a two-post. Um, they're both 30 millimeters, so the decks are roughly the same size, uh, give or take. Maybe a little bit of a difference here on the, the lips for the actual barrel, but the barrels do interchange with the decks. There you go. There's the V2 barrel on the V3 deck. No problem for getting it back out. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> the actual barrels, again, are identical with the exception of the fact that one has serialization and etching and one does not. Same hole pattern, same everything. I mean, different type of metal, obviously. But and then the top cap, you got the same step designs, but you have adjustable airflow on the V3 and you do not on the V2. These holes, I, these were the only thing I did not like about the V2 personally. Uh, and then redesigned whereas this one was straight through. And the chuff tip is obviously different because of that uh, adjustable airflow in the top. So there you have it. Let me pop this guy back together real quick. Pop the barrel on, pop the airflow control slash top cap on, and pop the chuff tip in. There you go. Uh, I'm going to throw a build back in this, and then we'll go back up top, and we will talk about it, and we'll vape on it. Alright guys, that was the up close and breakdown with the Buddha V3 from Vapors Cloud, the pre- production prototype, the finished prototype. Um, again, the only real change is going to be the etching. There's going to be, you know, their Buddha logo, logo, probably Buddha V3 on it. Um, differences between the uh, two and the three. Uh, obviously, they went from a four post design to a two post velocity style deck. Uh, the holes are really large. I want to say the three millimeter. Um, it's easy to put a build into. Uh, they use the flathead screws from the side instead of the grub screws, the Allen key sunken grub screws, or the uh, the top mounted screws. So you do still have four post holes, which is really nice. Um, the other big change is on the <laughs> V2, you have these little air flow holes on top. They're indirect. They kind of kill the flavor. I ran a vape band around them most of the time to kind of block them off. Now it's adjustable. You just turn the little uh, chuff tip and it rotates and blocks it off, opens it up. Really, really nice to have. Uh, it's a feature that I would have loved on the V2. I'm super happy to have it now. Um, <clears throat> the flavor on this is better than the V2. And I, I know it sounds weird because, yeah, okay, the barrel design is still the same. I get it. But it, the two-post deck brings those coils up just a hair more into the main airflow stream so it hits it more directly and you really get a little bit more flavor off of it um, the vapor production has been great the flavor has been great um, most of the pieces parts, the barrel, the airflow, the top airflow ring the top airflow ring are going to be interchangeable between the two and the three. Um, so you can kind of tinker around if you want, change the looks, swap barrels, swap the top cap. Uh, but you cannot swap the chuff cap because of the additional airflow block off. Um, obviously, this is considerably smaller than the one I showed you. Uh, but other than that, they're, you know, interchangeable. Um, this thing has a really, really nice finish on it. Now, the only thing that disappointed me a little bit was I wanted a copper one to kind of go with my stacks, but it is what it is. Um, they have them. They will be coming out in the, uh, the steel finish and the black finish, I believe, on the 4th of July. Uh, so you can look forward to seeing them then on the Vapors Cloud website. I believe it's going to be smaller batch because they're trying to get a lot of stuff out before the August 8th deadline. So they're making smaller batches of more products so that they can go back and continue making them after the deadline, so on and so forth. 
Um, I've been loving this dripper. I really, really have. I have been using it for about three weeks now, and it has been with me every day. Uh, it's been a staple of my vaping diet, if you will. Um, just constantly, constantly getting used. Super easy to build on. I've put five or six different builds in this. I'm going to do some build videos with it uh, because, again, it's just really easy to build on. Um, wicking is obviously really straightforward because it is a dripper with no extra little intricacies involved. Just wick it, tuck it down, drip. Um, the uh, main airflow control is really easy to use. Just spin the top cap. The Secondary airflow is a little bit tougher because if you just grab this and spin it, you will spin that main airflow control. So you kind of have to hold it and then spin the top chuff cap around. Um, but honestly, I've been leaving it blocked off and just relying on the <laughs> the barrel because the airflow is just... There's a lot of airflow on this. Um, if you open it wide open, you're going to kill the flavor a little bit just because so much air is coming through. Uh, usually about half of what the barrel can do and the top locked off is pretty good for the kinds of builds I run. Um, it is obviously hybrid compatible because I am running it on a hybrid stacked mod. Uh, it's got enough build room to build yeah, pretty much anything you can build in a 30 millimeter dripper. Um, I will probably throw a set of I don't know stitched alien mohawks in here on one of my build videos and you'll get to see it. I'm guessing that they're going to sell for around $60, considering that's what the V2 sold for. Um, I cannot say for sure because I have not seen a release price yet because it is not yet available. Uh, so again, this does come out on the 4th. Um, I will link to the Vapors Cloud website so you can keep an eye on it. Um, I don't know how many are going to be available first batch. I know the prototype here, there was around 100 made total. Uh, so there's you know roughly 100 people, including myself, that have one. Um, I know two people that have them, and they've both loved them as well. Uh, they both agree that the flavor's been better, and the vapor production's been at least on par with the V2. So if you really like the V2, you're probably really going to like the V3, unless you don't like two post decks. Um, but even then, the fact that you could take this top cap, pop it on the V2, and have adjustable airflow control on the top is a really, really nice feature to have. So, you know, I've been loving this thing. I hope if you guys get one, you love it too. Um, I think that about wraps it up. The drippers, are, there's not a whole lot to talk about. The machining's really good on it, but again, it's a production prototype, so I don't want to comment too heavily on that because obviously there's no etching, there's no serialization, so I can't tell you how well done that is, and it, you know. <clears throat> so, uh, all in all, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Like, subscribe, it helps me out. If you have any questions, comments, anything I didn't address in the video, Leave it down in the comments below and I will do my best to get to them. Um, like always, I hope to see you guys again soon. Uh, till then, suck, blow, and keep on vaping.